Hi guys, so the rapture didn't happen um, on Saturday and Sunday. I was really, really hoping it would. Um, I was down, kind of like when Saturday came and went. I kind of was half hoping, okay, we still got Sunday. But then when Sunday came along at about... 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, beginning, I was beginning to think, no, it's not going to happen because the time in Jerusalem would be ahead. Um, so I started to get a bit down there. And um, then with everything that's going on in the world, uh, you know, all the rioting and stuff and lies that are being told and how they're trying to divide countries and bring in the one world global government it just like depresses me more man but then you know you, you get news articles and you try and fight the propaganda and you try and bring a bit of clarity and truth to the situation and you feel like you're the only one the only one that's fighting this battle you know and you're thinking, oh God, why didn't the rapture happen? Well, it's just taken me out of this. Because you get to the point where you actually exhaust yourself. And God told me the other day, you know, take a break. You know, you don't have to, you know, you're not fighting this by yourself. There are other people that are also fighting the same cause. But you tend to think you're the only one that's like, you know, fighting this. And uh, I just finished watching an excellent video, excellent video um, on the topic uh, by a black lady who really, really, really spoke the truth and it encourages me so much. And I'm thinking, you know what? Any time for the rapture is a good time now. Because I, I know I'm not the only one that's now fighting. I can almost like exhale. It's almost like, I don't know if you've ever been on these um, boats, pedal boats that, on the lake, you know. And if you're going with someone who's weaker than you, you tend to do all the pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. But... The thing is about Satan is that he goes around like a roaring lion. It doesn't mean he is a roaring lion. So a lot of the time we imagine the problem bigger than it really is. And I just sit back now and I can exhale knowing that there are other brothers and sisters and other people that are fighting alongside of me. And I don't need to push so hard, you know. And uh, with that, sitting back and relaxing, doesn't mean I'm out to fight. I'm, by no means am I out to fight. <laughs> you have to fight. You have a responsibility to fight. But you're not the only one. So don't stress yourself out. You know, don't exhaust yourself. But I can sit back and say, Lord, any time you want to come and fetch us, we're ready. I'm going back to imminency now. You know, yeah, it might be on Rosh Hashanah, the rapture might be on Rosh Hashanah. But I have this new, I don't know how to explain it, this new anticipation that it really is imminency, that it can really happen at any time. Uh, and uh, that encourages me. Yeah, it could happen at Rosh Hashanah, like I said, but I'm just leaving it in God's hands, you know. And when you look at the current state of what the globalists are doing, how they're pushing their agenda, and how far we've come since January on their agenda, I'm thinking, man, as soon as the rapture takes place, this world is going like, I would say going to hell. But hopefully there'll be people that'll be uh, waking up. There'll be saints, you know, 
um, tribulation saints, as we call them, that will be fighting. And it'll be their turn, because they've been sitting back this whole time, you know. It'll be their turn to pick up the, the baton, so to speak. So, I just want to encourage you people that we're in a fight, and the Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Keep praying, keep binding and loosing, and don't just leave it at that. Actually, take physically take part in um, any kind of debate you can, Facebook, Twitter, just do your part, even if it's just having a cup of coffee and tea and speaking to someone about the globalist agenda, what's happening, you know, and our blessed hope, which is Jesus. So guys, keep looking up. If I hear anything in the meantime, um, any dates or stuff like that, I will tell you. I will tell you, because there's still that niggling thought in the back of my mind that we will know, you know. God's given us so many signs, so many signs. And we, we're there, you know. So, I'm sticking, in the back of my mind, I'm still sticking to that we're in the 120th year, you know, the Noah year. So something's going to happen this year, guys. Um, there's other watchmen that are saying that they predict by looking at different dates that September will be the start of the tribulation. Ironically, that's also Rosh Hashanah, so there might be a coincidence there. I don't know. I hope God comes before September. I want him to come now. But, um, yeah, we wait, and we wait in a seat of power. We are seated in Christ Jesus. We are to draw our strength. We are to be continuously filled with the Holy Spirit. In other words, that, that's how the you trim your lamp that's how you have oil in your lamp don't exhaust yourself out and fight the good fight love you guys have a good week cheers bye